Here, we will discuss representations in molecular orbital theory under this LCAO method. In many systems, but not all, we have a central atom that resides on the point where all the symmetry operations meet. We will use this central atom to discuss irreducible representations in group theory and what they mean when applied to molecular orbital theory. In this video, we will assume some familiarity with group theory. Really, all you'll need is what is in our previous video on the topic, finding symmetry operations and assigning point groups. As you probably already guessed, you'll need some familiarity with atomic orbitals and molecular orbital theory. We divide the problem of drawing MOs for polyatomic systems where there is a central atom into two parts, finding the irreducible representations corresponding to the valence orbitals of the central atom and finding the representations for the orbitals of everything else. If you have a system with a central atom, then that central atom will sit on the point that all your symmetry operations go through. For example, bromine pentafluoride is C4V with C4 axes, a C2, two sigma Ds, and two sigma V planes, and all those symmetry operations go through the bromine. Using our BRF5 example, we will write out the molecule with appropriate axes. As discussed in the group theory video, the principal rotation axis is almost always the highest order rotation axis, which we'll call Z. In this case, the Z axis will be along the axial FBR bond of the square pyramidal structure. We'll put the X and the Y axes along the BRF bonds in the equatorial plane. Bromine is a central atom that sits where all the symmetry operations meet. We'll make the bromine one side of our MO diagram. Here we'll discuss how to find the irreducible reps for the bromine central atom, what an irreducible rep is, and how they are generally labeled. In other parts to the series, we'll talk about generation of salks for the left side, including orthogonalization of degenerate salks, formation of MOs, and interpretation of MOs to understand properties and reactivity.